Okay, so I live in Macedonia, and there really aren't any people here who can fix this horn. So I'm looking for help as to what you think I can do out here with what limited supplies I have. Like, as you can see, I have silicon bumpers that I end up buying at a hardware store that didn't fit properly, so I put them in hot water and then mold them into their spot so it works. But anyways, as you have Teflon tape. The, tube, the, suit, the helicon itself is pretty darn nice. But, loud. And these S-bar guys here are loose, it looks like. It goes, I don't know how, you can see how that moves back and forth. Second valve is the worst. I mean, it moves great, but it's really freaking loud. Uh, I noticed today, shoot, I don't can't really see it, can you know? I'm working with my camera here, buddy. Well, I dismantled it earlier today, but basically on the second valve, right, son of a gun, where this attaches to, right there, yeah, this guy here, where this part here, on the top part of the S-bar, there's a crack, it looks like, like it just broke clean right across the there. So it's, it's, oh man. Whoever's watching this whole thing, thank you for being patient. But yeah, like right there, at the base of the S-bar, there's this clean crack on the second valve. And, uh, now you can't see it. Anyways, so there's that. And the third valve, as you can see, is not entirely down the way it should be. Yeah, you see how that, that screw is loose here, like me. So it goes up and down because I feel like it's bent. The arm is bent somehow. So, arm is bent on the third valve, but it still works. Second valve is super freaking loud. First valve is also loud, which, I mean, it's expected for a horn that's this old, I think at least 50, 60 years old. And it's been played a lot, and it's getting played a lot here with the groups I'm with. But, like, if I want to practice the Bach cello suites on this thing, da 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 It's just like, clacking. I have more percussive sound than a, than a helicon. So, I'm putting this out there. If anybody knows how I can fix these to be tighter, so they don't clack as much and move around as much, because there's too much play, I feel. I feel. I don't know. And like I said, if I lived in California, like I used to, I'd know where I would go to take it to get it fixed. But I don't live in California. I live in Macedonia. And the closest person who can fix this horn, I was told, is in Bulgaria. And I can't really travel easily with a horn this size on a bus. First to Skopje, then to Bulgaria. And the bus to Bulgaria is midnight, usually, so I can get there in the morning. So, <sighs> any suggestions? I'm really thankful. I really want this thing to work properly. I'd like to get mini balls here, but not right now. Oh yeah, you can kind of see how... See how much play there is there? Yeah, that's why I put the Teflon tape there. It didn't seem to work very well. But yeah, one last time. Clack, 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 clack. And greetings from Macedonia. Oh, there's... Well, Katie's not out there today. Okay. Hope you all have fun in Tuba land.